Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. And I'm Kai Jackson. Baltimore City State's Attorney Marilyn Mosby is facing four federal charges of perjury and making false statements on loan applications. It comes 10 months after Fox 45 News first learned of the federal investigation into her finances. Fox 45 News has relentlessly followed the story since then, keeping you updated every step of the way. And tonight, the fallout from those charges begins in Baltimore City. We have live team coverage tonight as our reporters look into every aspect of this indictment. Rio Creighton and Keith Daniels with reaction pouring in from Baltimore City leaders and residents. Mackenzie Frost examines the real estate at the center of these charges. And Jeff Abel, he has the indictment and what happens next for the city's top prosecutor. Jeff? Well, a date for her initial court appearance has yet to be set, but tonight, the woman charged with enforcing the law is now accused of breaking it. State's attorney Marilyn Mosby has long complained that her so-called progressive policies have made her a public target, even as late as last night in an online interview. So they will come against you with everything that they have. I've been mocked, ridiculed, harassed, sued, investigated. And now she's been indicted. A federal grand jury issued a four-count indictment on Thursday, accusing the state's attorney of lying on a mortgage loan application and perjury. The indictment centers around her purchase of two Florida homes. She said and got a more favorable interest rate because she had indicated on her mortgage application that it was not going to be used as a rental property and then almost immediately turned around and made the property a rental property. In another case, prosecutors say Mosby failed to indicate on mortgage applications that the IRS had placed this $45,000 lien on her home in Maryland. You have to sign it under the penalties of perjury. Well, she had a tax lien. The indictment also accuses Mosby of falsely claiming she had suffered from financial hardship due to the coronavirus in order to make early withdrawals from her retirement plan. The indictment shows the box she personally checked on the application. She allegedly used those withdrawals as down payments on her two Florida vacation homes. These charges are very, very, very drilled down to specific items. And they're also very easy items to prove. The indictment doesn't mean Mosby must resign, but already there are questions about her ability to prosecute. The problem is that this is an elected official who is charged with prosecuting, among other crimes, financial crimes. Mosby can be removed from office on the recommendation of the Maryland Attorney General and then the approval by the state Senate. But so far, there's no indication the Attorney General has any plans to do so. We're live tonight. Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News.